the Big Red Machine is here. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from the pits of hell. Weighing in at 323 pounds, Kane! Oh my gosh, you know, for so years, awesome. WWE fans wondered what was under the mask. Now they probably regret even asking what was under the mask. Kane is like an unholy wrecking ball. No escaping the rage of Kane. WrestleManias and even held the WWE title for over four years. Inescapable agony may be imminent for this superstar in his matchup against Kane. You look at Kane and you're looking at a tormented soul. A demon whose every attack is an assault on all of humanity. Kane is always searching for his next victim. Terror awaits in any match with a big red machine. But he's got a wave of red and yellow about to crash down on him. Hulkamania is running wild on the WWE Universe right now. Yeah, when you're facing off against Hulk Hogan, you're facing off against all of his Hulkamaniacs. A pretty uneven matchup, if you ask me. And he's able to fight Kane off. Oh. So much damage inflicted. Kane keeps him away. Get his press! Nothing was being held back with each of those strikes. Oh, look at this! In trouble here? Oh, oh what a great counter. That'll break it up. Sure, what they're thinking. Straight impact on the foot. Can he score the pin? And he gets the shoulder up before two. So resilient. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Now look at his aggression, just pure oh, brutality. Come on, easy. That showed a complete lack of respect for your competition and for our sport. Oh man! Strikes with a kick. in the leg. It's not very often we see Hogan wilting before his obstacle like he did there. Yeah, well, that's Kane bringing terror to the competition. Toss back into the ring. Reversal! What a counter! Gotta find a way to get out of this. Saw that coming. Fast press! Fast press! Fast press! That was a vicious display. You can almost see the disdain in their eyes. 
Vicious right forearm. Oh! Oh, Kane waylays him. Out. To the arm. Rearranging the face with a stomp. Now that'll do some serious damage. Care cover, cover. And he kicks out at two. That was a long two count there. Big boom. to the stomach and stopped in their tracks. And a basement drop kick. Kane gets that set right back to him. Hogan delivers. He could pin his opponent right here. Kicks out. This is no time to hesitate. You can feel the end coming. Hogan, off the rope! Uh-oh. Oh, the counter! Put her in a position now. Lands face first! My goodness, is this even legal? I don't think so. Oh, look at this ruthlessness in the bottom turnbuckle. We could be very close to seeing a humbled Hogan here. Straight to Touch him. Cup. Does that finish Hulk off? Oh, only two? We've seen Hulkster endure a lot in his career, but all the hardships don't seem to matter. Hulkamania still lives. And now does Kane have to find an alternative because that was a conclusion Kane is not accustomed to. And this one might be headed ringside. And he throws the opposition back into the ring. And Kane channeling his energy here. Ooh. Oh He's going for the pin. This could be it. And to the pay window. Wow, he's going to celebrate all night long. Here is your winner. The Hulk Hogan with the victory. I can't say I really believe it, but tonight we saw Kane meet defeat. The fires from hell were not enough. comes the giant killer, Rey Mysterio Jr. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Tijuana, Mexico, weighing in at 175 pounds, Rey Mysterio Jr. You know, multi-time WCW Cruiserweight Champion, 
Remember the time he put his mask on the line against Eddie Guerrero and won? Rey Mysterio Jr. proved he was willing to bet on himself and succeeded in the process. Each time this man steps in the ring, he leaves the audience jaws on the floor. Ships, Baron Corbin is raring for a fight. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, the lone wolf mentality is back. No one's safe. And his opponent from Kansas City, weighing in at 285 pounds, Baron. If you ask Baron Corbin, he will tell you that he is the epitome of what being a WWE superstar is all about. His past destroyed, Baron Corbin looks to unleash some pent-up aggression here tonight. I, for one, cannot wait to see it. There might not ever be another superstar with as much heart as Rey Mysterio Jr. Mysterio is living proof that with enough... Is it enough? Gets his shoulder up before the two count. Not time to expect victory yet. Ooh. Ooh, great agility on display. Showing off the quickness. That'll turn things around in a hurry. Corbin fights back. Sent into the corner. Boom, what a right. Corbin gets stymied. These two battling to a dead heat with these reversals. Oh, side coming. Yeah. Here we go, round around. Satellite DDT. We know Corbin is not afraid of a brawl, but. What if his opponent decides to turn this into a technical contest? Look, Cole, raw power and brute force can beat even the most seasoned grappler, and that's the case with Corbin. He needs to hit hard and hit off. Cover! And a shoulder in the air. Fighting hard to stay in this match. Being carried around with ease. Can't prepare your face for that. Taking the wind out with a stomp to the solar plexus. My God, enough! Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Gets him with the counter. Yeah. Round and round into the satellite DDT. Improving a bit slippery for them there. And Corbin may have felt that coming. Oh, man, what a flying heel kick. That offense might have rocked the confidence of Baron. Scoop slam. Escapes in a nick of time. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. Now the leg drop, Bulldog! Boom! Ooh, well measured. Hooked up, and DDT! Sit! 
Right straight into the barricade. Whip right into the barricade. Set up for the brushing sweep. Nicely done. And Corbin can't find a way off the blocks. Heavy work being done to Corbin right now. Vicious right forearm. Good golly, Miss Lowry. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Blung the abdomen, gets them out of that. Got a leg drop, Bulldog. Spectacular. Athleticism. A move like that is what sets you apart from other superstars. Turn it around to hit a DDT with authority. Point of the elbow, nailed it. He's got him down. Is this it? Rope break. Pin stops. This is getting intense. Someone check on Saxton. seeing a whole saga written tonight. And now Corbin is known to become enraged when things don't go his way. That can become a deck from way up. Double axe handle connects. Smothering offense now from Corbin. Corbin just overpowering his opponent, keeping him down with brute force. Wow, incredible hurricane. Well-framed standing moonsault. Standing moonsault gets all of it. Oh, that might have just broken something. And now Corbin being brutalized again. Yeah, Mysterio reminding us of just how much resilience and fight he really has. The ref may call a count out soon, guys. We do not want to test this ref. position. Yeah, Rey Mysterio Jr. used every ounce of fight he had in his body. But tonight, even that wasn't enough.
The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall. On the way to the ring, the team of Carmella and Fallon Henley. The tension building for this match is so thick you can cut it with a knife. A lot of drama involved with this one. She is ready to get in the competition's face. Mi Chin is as Mi Chin does. Never afraid to do something crazy. And their opponents, first representing the OC from Fontana, California, Mi Chin. And Mi Chin really knows how to take care of a problem inside the squared circle. Yeah, the HBIC is looking to neutralize the competition tonight and won't back down until she gets business done. She loves the reaction she receives from the WWE Universe, and I think she's going to take that energy into the match, too. A competitor designed for comfort. And has a unique mantra of eat, sleep, repeat. And from Chinatown, New York, Wendy Chu. I hope Wendy's ready to compete, because when the bell rings, there's no snooze button. Uh, Wendy is more than ready, and I think the opposition is going to be very alarmed tonight. <laughs> you guys get it? Alarmed? Am I asleep right now? Because this is a nightmare. Oh, yeah. Hey, hey, look alive. Look alert out there. Hey, you can't underestimate the Wendy choo-choo train. You sleep in a race car bed, Saxton. Leave me alone, Corey. Time to put these teams to the test in this one under traditional tag rules. Getting this competition underway as we have Fallon Henley and Carmella. Well, they will be facing some fierce tag team action with Machen and Wendy Chu. Quick tags and staying fresh are imperative in a tag match. The question is, which duo has the better teamwork to stick to that strategy? Oh, sit out, Jawbreaker! You can pick up your teeth in the third row. Ooh, she hit the corner hard. Look at this! Hurricane Rana! Beautiful. Agility like that, easier said than done, gentlemen. Oh, and an elbow! What's Carmella getting ready for? Check your face after that one. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Ooh, vicious kick to the spine. And Meechin won't be having a good night if she allows more offense like that. She could do it here. Almost two and a half. She's still as determined as ever. Ooh. There's her tag. Nice Japanese arm drag. Oh, could be nap time. She needs to find a way out in short order. Not going to last long. And she escapes. Ooh, clothesline delivered. Tuck athleticism. Dealing out some damage and looking good doing it. Ow. 
Ouch! Got her. Oh, look at his aggression in the corner. Yeah, boot right in the jaw. Making a mockery of your opponent could eventually backfire. In off the tag. This is just establishing dominance. Oh, what a stop right to the chest. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Looking worse for wear in the corner now. Oh. This their opponent's uh, legs. Uh, oh. just, ouch. That's one way to get your opponent out of the corner. Drop toe hold, face first. Ah, oh, look at this, hair pulled net slam! Carmella eludes that. Oh, man, inverted backbreaker, ow! Oh, God, that hurt. So she tags in. Athleticism. Blockbuster off the ropes. Brutal stomp to the body. And followed up by another to the chest. Ooh, treading all over their opponent. Wendy's mind didn't look to be in the game there. Fallon Henley making an example of her opponent. There's the switch. Carmella is in. Sight. Ouch. Big elbow. Tagged in. Trying to chop her down with a low kick. She turns it around on Meachin. Ooh. Ooh. Sam Jawbreaker. You can pick up your teeth in the third row. She says, no thanks. Oh, man, what an uppercut. Oh, Buster. Down with the bulldog. Monster set up in the corner. Kick! That offense really hitting her hard. This is what the purpose of a tag team is. Don't be afraid to use the resources and help your partner offers. Am I being diplomatic enough, Cole? Ooh, slows that down with a well-placed kick. <laughs> STO takedown. <laughs> oh, did we just see a two fly out? She manages to get control. Hey, Schoolboy. Uh oh. And a sick kick. Will it be? I think so. Got their opponent set up. Drop kick to the back. Tag made. She's in. She's got the shoulders down. Still only got one. I'm happy she did. I don't want this match to end. Ooh. Oh, face stop. Tag is made. Nice Japanese Andre. Caught by a sling blade. There's the switch. Carmella is in. Oh, clothesline! 
from behind. Right after the neck. Cover here. She kicks out with force. Somehow she's still in this matchup. It's unbelievable. Chop block. Brilliant. Right to the back of the knee. She wants to finish this. surrender. All of the damage must be taking its toll. Uh-oh. Jawbreaker! Call the dentist. And Carmella with a takedown looking for the, the code of silence. Oh, no one. And there's the save. Carmella is lasered in. Let's go, Mella. Ooh, she's going for it. Now this tag team celebrating its victory here tonight. What a big win. This team is going a long way in its career. Yeah, you know this loss is going to be difficult. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was a bit much. They needed a little bit more room for celebration. Completely classless. To the victors go the spoils, Saxton. The original, the official, the only club that matters. The following is a tag team match set for one fall on the way to the ring at a combined weight of 500 and five pounds. The World Tag Team Champions, Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows, the OC. You know you are in for an all out fight facing the OC. Two men with a high in-ring IQ, high intensity and high goals to achieve. He's a true alpha male. Braun Breaker, ready to dominate. And their opponents, 
first from Woodstock, Georgia, weighing in at 230 pounds, Braun Breaker. We've seen a fury to Braun Breaker, a fiery temper that fuels him in the ring. And that fire cannot be extinguished. Just look at Breaker's face. The intensity of this man is palpable. Braun looks ready to completely annihilate the opposition. Here he comes, the ultimate warrior. And from parts unknown, Weighing in at 275 pounds, the ultimate warrior. This crowd is going wild. That's because they're feeling the vibes the warrior is putting out. Cranking up the intensity in here like only he can. An intimidating spectacle for the WWE Universe and an intimidating opponent to be facing tonight. That's the bell, and the OC is here, set for action. There are really no egos in the OC, guys. They love to fight and then have a good time outside the ring. That's what happens when you spend as much time making money and making towns as these dudes have, Cole. All that matters after that is the company you keep, and the OC knows that all too well. A very tight-knit crew. You have to admire that. This could be a night of tag team action at its finest. Yeah, you can't ask for a much better matchup than the one in front of us, gentlemen. Ah, uh, setting them up. Front into the slam. And that's the tag to the ultimate warrior. Shoulder tackle. Carl evades that one. Pile driver on its way. Sit down, pile driver. This could be it. Cover. Just kicks out. Just barely, but it counts. Ah, oh, he stays ahead of Warrior. Go oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Just his shoulders are down. Ultimate Warrior forces the shoulder up. He's nowhere near ready to stop fighting yet. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. Flamed across the way. Was definitely not thinking about finesse with that one. Was only thinking about dominance. He's looking a little off balance. Yeah, it could be the moment where Warrior tips the scales in his favor. And he said, you're not getting me with that this time. Setting up for something here. Targeting the throat there. Here's the cover. And still hanging on. And frustration might be starting to set in. Tag made. Tag made. Uh-oh. Hazardous part of town here on the apron. Oh, the apron! The hardest part of the ring. 
There's no good way to land on the ring apron like that. The location has the least give out of the entire ring. Down to Odin and a double axe handle smash. Just a dominant display. Look at this power slam. He needs to find his way back into the ring. The count just keeps going up. Thrown out of ringside and back to the mat. Oh, God. Now he's been put on the defensive. Nice suplex. Jarring impact. And a tag there. Looking for the suplex all the way up. Look at this power. Oh, no. Into a chop block. Ooh. Clubbing blows. Placing them right where they want them, into the corner. Shot after shot. Takes their breath out. Effective counter. Shoulder tackle. Beautiful gator roll. Great way to disorient your opponent. He's absorbed some damage already. Tag is registered. Oh, just deadlifting their opponent. Tossing their opponent like they're nothing. It might not be flashy, but sometimes you just gotta toss another person to make a statement. Oh, with authority! He's got it. Oh, ho, ho. let's get it on. Getting him into the corner. Oh, and the Warrior reverses. Solely focused on Ooh. Oh, down by the DDT. Cover. He's able to beat a two count. Not quite enough to put him away. them into the corner. Headlock applied and a nice short jab to the bridge of the nose. Oh, man! Oof! Oh, my gosh! With one hand! A calculating look has come across Carl's face. Going for sliced bread. What a counter. Power slam. And that'll do it. It's finally over with the win. Here are your winners. The team of Braun Breaker and the ultimate Wolf. This is definitely not the way the OC had hoped tonight would go. They say when you know, you know. And I know there's no tag team on the roster that can touch these two guys.
Ah, this is going to be fun, because here comes the Ninja Master, the Master of Martial Arts. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring, representing the Alpha Academy from Kobe, Japan, weighing in at 156 pounds, Akira Tozawa! Akira Tozawa, so explosive inside the ring. Yeah, he possesses one of the best German suplexes you'll ever see. Tazawa hits hard and fast. As high intensity as they come. <laughs> Gentlemen, the ninja battle is about to begin. The king of strong style. Ready to deliver big hits and get the big win. That's the only way he knows how. And his opponent from Kyoto, Japan, weighing in at 220 pounds, Shinsuke Nakamura. The king of strong style is ready for action. His renowned striking ability, his MMA background. If you come at the king, you best not miss. Especially when the king can hit back. Hey, where are you going? You're going nowhere! It'll be over soon. Don't worry. of Shinsuke Nakamura has become more villainous and more nefarious. Well, Shinsuke has finally become the main event star we knew he would be. The always entertaining and surprisingly devastating Akira Tozawa. Yeah, Tozawa is certainly a superstar who can back up his threats. Whether it's dangerous strikes or precision aerials, it's always a top effort from Tozawa. I'm sure his opponent is about to feel the power of Tozawa. Shinsuke Nakamura has his sights set on destruction tonight, though, and he has a victim in mind. Shinsuke has embraced his more ruthless tendencies as of late, and it's only made him a bigger threat. This isn't even about winning for him. It's just about causing chaos. And countouts are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. And now with the kendo stick in hand, he's ready to do some real damage. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. In the corner. Goes without saying, but a leg injury will hamper your ability to... Oh, what's coming here? Submission move being applied. How do you escape the abdominal stretch like that? Oof, that can knock you out. An agile escape. He's burying elbows in the midsection. And it seems like you have to be at least a little sadistic to be victorious in an ODQ match. Oh, come on, Cole. It's not about being sadistic. It's about being smart. There's no safety net in a no-disqualification match, and that's a big factor in succeeding. There's nothing sadistic about it. Oh, suplex. Oh, he is obviously taking way too much pleasure in this right now. Rosawa felt that coming. Side slam. Akira was on the wrong end of things here. And Shinsuke putting all of his stunning power behind that flashy attack. Oh, a stop. His shoulders are down. 
A kick out before the referee can get to one. It is going to take a lot more to keep him down. Measured knee drop. Absolutely throwing all caution to the wind. Whoa. Spinning in the face of danger. Perhaps looking for some kind of equalizer here. It's like I always say, he who has the sledgehammer has the lap. Oh no, he can be caught here. Bad spot for him. Looking to find an escape from the abdominal stretch. Uh-oh, found it. As this rivalry has grown, uh, there's a close line. Another impact. Ducks underneath. Super kick. Oh man! Adding more injury to injury with that hammer. He gets out of the way. Kazawa gets countered. Series of reversals. Clearly waiting for that. With authority. Caught in a bad position here. Ooh, dropped right on their face. My God, enough! Is it enough here? He's still in the fight, but for how much longer? Vicious right forearm. Oh, the knee right to the face. He's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. And of course, kendo sticks are always under the ring in the event of any rogue ninja attacks. Kozawa felt that coming. Brutal attacks courtesy Shinsuke Nakamura. You gotta wonder, what does this do to Tozawa's confidence? These competitors have been unloading on each other since the bell. Just looking for that window of opportunity. And now might be the time to seize the moment. Now's the time to keep the pressure on. He was elusive there. Oh, Nakamura! A crashing down landslide. Shinsuke reminding us why he's the one they call the king of strong style. And now gets tossed into the ring. Will it be? And that does it. Shinsuke Nakamura captures the win. Here is your winner, Shinsuke Nakamura. It was a hard-fought victory for Shinsuke Nakamura. Nakamura proving he can accomplish anything he puts his mind to. yet if this is any indication this is going to be a wild matchup well the match is starting outside the ring two teams with nothing in common and no middle ground 
After a shotgun attack during the entrances, this match has found its way inside the ring at last. Now we can really get things started. This match is a power cake, ready to blow. Emotions are running very high between these superstars. Well, that's one explanation for the unchecked violence we witnessed before the bell. Counter on Boogeyman. And the DDT. Oh, God, that hurt. Oh, that was just malicious. Just disrespectful. Trying to get that mental edge. You can't let yourself get psyched out. Dominating shoulder tackle. Punch lands. Couldn't have felt good being chucked around like that. Close lines. Good Lord. And he goes for the pin. Pushes through after two. He really thought that was it. And Truth capitalizes there. Boom. Big four. This match grinded him down a little. Left by the turnbuckles. Here's a tag. Opponent off the ropes. Double big back body drop. It's got to be demoralizing when you're the combatant on the wrong side of the double team. Maybe you want to rework the game plan about now. Quick oh. strike to the lower body. A little rope assistance. Attacking the arm. Trying to fight with a hurt arm is no easy task. Delivers an emphatic brain buster. And a maneuver like that will leave you on unsteady legs, to say the least. No. Slingshot sent on. That was coming in hot at breakneck speed. Going fast and living dangerously. He turns it around. Oh, tossed hard into the ring post. He is delivering elbow after elbow. Oh, look at this. Oh, pump handle. Oh, that gut buster. How did scout it? He climbs back into the ring just in time. That was getting close. He went right into that turnbuckle. These two do it so well together. Putting up a united front as this match continues. And he gets delivered back into the ring. Compromised position here. Oh, right to the throat. Things have been fraught between these competitors for weeks. We have to notice how tensions have risen even more recently. Nothing seems to be off limits at this point. That's not a good thing. Arm ringer for a ply. Well, that came to an end with an abrupt punch. Taken down with a chop block. Had it scouted. Vicious right forearm. Hooked up. DDT. And there's the tag. Our truth into the ring. Corkscrew calf kick. And tag. He did it. Let's go. Turned it into an arm drag. Lives to fight another day. Turns that back on truth. Toss. Just a perfect mix of pure power and bad intentions. There's the tag. Ah. Underhook apply. Side effect. Cover. Two. He gets the shoulder up at two. At this point in the match, that could have gone either way. Vicious right forearm. Hooked up. Ooh. Reaches his partner for the tag. Yeah. 
intercepted by the Boogeyman. Both competitors showing how well they know one another. Here it comes. He saw it coming. Close line. Well, that'll leave a mark. No backing down here. They really want to make sure the best man comes out on top in this one. Oh, it is aggression, just oh, pure brutality. Come on, easy. A malicious attack across the throat. Ground up and driven down. Boogie ball. Is that enough to take out True? Boogie man, obviously ready to feast on some worms. Hoist it up. Boogie slam. Why do you sound like you're crying? He reverses it. And that could be a first step towards truth gaining control. Yeah, but he needs to maintain some offense to fully get back in this one. It's a torture rack. Racked up. Not finished yet. No, a neck breaker. That unraveled on Umaga. Bam. Listen to this place. It's electric. And just being tossed away there. Perhaps a little more determination needed from Styles. The Samoan Bulldozer dished out some decimation there. Ali up and down. Russian leg sweep. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Oh, man. Right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Steer clear of that. Fends off the attack with an elbow. That's right, Truth. What's up? Ooh. Oh, ooh. 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 Heel kick. kick to the gut. Hooked up. What a display of toughness and stamina to pick up the win here tonight. Stood up against the test and now standing tall with the victory. I got to give it up here. Great job. Here comes the personification of longevity and hard work, the 16-time world champion. Uh, not just the 16-time world champion, 
a Hollywood phenomenon, and a man who embodies the meaning of superstar. The following champion versus champion contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from West Newbury, Massachusetts, weighing in at 251 pounds, the WWE United States Champion, John Cena. A superstar whose dominance has bordered on controversy has actually found himself as the target of scorn for some. Ah, uh, the dominant shouldn't be controversial, Corey. If anything, he's underrated at this point. Cena's beaten a who's who of this business. Hall of Famers, living legends, Triple H, HBK, The Rock. The list goes on and on. And that bodes well for his chances here tonight. Personification of evil. Such an ominous and chilling aura when The Undertaker comes to town. This is always his stage, it's always his yard. And if you're his opponent, you know the end is near. You know, Undertaker is a time-honored warrior of the ring. No matter what you do, I'm not sure there's anything that prepares you for The Undertaker. So many superstars have stood across the ring from the dead man, paralyzed with fear. Abandon all hope. The dead man has risen. accused John Cena of being foolish, but he may have gone too far when he raised the ire of the dead man. Yeah, calling out the baddest man in the yard could be seen as worst mistake. But think of the level of these two men. They've climbed the mountain and etched their names all over history in the process. Seeing who really is the greatest of all time, taking on legends, that's what tests them and pushes them forward. What's he gonna do? Taking flight. Oh, and he doesn't connect. Jaw shattering boot. He's burying elbows in the midsection. Short clothesline hits its mark. Stopping down. And Cena finds himself on the receiving end. Undertaker. It's going for the Dragon Sleeper. Oh, he's able to find enough grip to fight out of the hole. Crucial escape here. Whoa-oh, monkey flip. <laughs> I love it. Corey, the Undertaker has proven for decades now that he can put his opponent
opponents away, sometimes for good in so many ways. The mental game, his agility, his power. What do you think he should focus on in this one? Above all else, Colt, the power game is where The Undertaker ex... Plancha to the outside! Toss Carson out the window, and it paid off. Adrenaline is through the roof now. Oh, my! Uh-oh. Enable to counter. Great wherewithal on the counter. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. by the dead man. Undertaker DDT. What a spy buster. What now? Oh, not to the belly. Undertaker gets reversed. And will this be it? Kick out at one. A truly impressive kick out this late. Oh, man. Right at the point of the elbow. So much damage inflicted. Big forearm. Draped across the top rope. Cena starting to look a little worse for wear after that bit of offense. I'm sure The Undertaker can feel his opponent's soul fading as this one continues. Able to reverse. Uh-oh. Shifts it back onto him. Can he do it here? Good officiating there. Referee seeing him the ropes and breaking the count. Outside, what's the plan here? Uh oh, Cena gets intercepted. Ah, oh, look at this, just cranking it out. Oh, cranking the head. Great counter, impressive ring IQ on display there. Boom, head first. This is going to take some power here. Look at this strength. Absolutely impressive. Delivered into the barricade. And Undertaker's clearly looking for a fight here. He may not be aware of the count. He's got to get back in. Cena can put it away here. Two. Hangs on by a threat. Oh, my goodness. The dead man lives on. He's still in this. What is Cena doing on the top rope? John Cena, you can't see me. This might be Cena's moment. The Undertaker could be in trouble. Really had less than a second to stay alive there. Using the elbow to a... 
Uh-oh. Oh, saw it coming and got an elbow for their trouble. See up to the rafters, and there's not a single person sitting down. What an environment this is. All eyes are glued on this battle. That can dislocate your shoulder. And this has got to be it. Forces the shoulder up after two. He refuses to stay down. Pure instinct. <laughs> oh, just deadlifting their opponent and tossing them aside. Cena warning him off. but effective counter, foot to the face. Cuts off their offense with a swift elbow to the gut. Exhibiting a crazy amount of strength here. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. This is the beginning of the end. Here we go! Way down hard, the last ride. Looking for the victory! Two! Man, that was such a long and hard-fought match. He earned that victory. Here is your winner, The Undertaker! We witnessed two icons do battle, and I still have goosebumps. Rest in peace, John Cena. And here comes the Texas Rattlesnake! The following champion versus champion contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Victoria, Texas, weighing in at 252 pounds, the WWE Undisputed Champion, Stone Cold. Texas Rattlesnake, a pivotal figure in the Monday Night Wars. If it isn't the definition of irony that WCW once fired this man who would go on to become one of the biggest names in the history of this industry. Stone Cold Steve Austin has done it his way every step of the way. Things are about to get good. And his opponent, from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 212 pounds, the WWE Light Heavyweight Champion, Christian Page. 
The feeling, the electricity in the arena right now is unlike anything I've ever felt in quite some time. This match is going to be good. You take down Stone Cold, you're the talk of sports entertainment. It would be a life-changing victory. You can see that the champ looks a little relaxed going into this match, don't you think, guys? Well, the relief of not putting your title on the line certainly has to help, Michael. All I know is that with or without the title, full focus is needed on this match. Either way, there's no doubt the champ is ready for a fight. But then we have the man they call the... Look out! What a crossbody! It's like a heat-seeking missile coming at you. And the explosion occurring ringside. Every strike more devastating than the last. Right to the leg. Whatever's playing here can't be good. Oh my gosh, what impact. Look at him totally vibing with the W. Yes, he didn't come here to watch him boast and taunt. Oh, tossed aside. <laughs> I honestly can't believe we just saw a human being tossed like that. Stone Cold reverses. Knee right to the gut. Cover. Shoulders are down. I didn't think this match was close to over. Not that Stone Cold needs advice on how to win a fight, but Corey, if you were in his shoes here, what do you think you'd do? I'd do everything possible to make this my kind of battle. Make this a brawl, make this a melee. Austin is exceptionally good at what he does, and what he does is stomp people out. No respect at all with that action, but it can also be meant to antagonize. Could be a method of luring your opponent into a mistake. Dismantling the arm in the corner. Gotta hurt. Pulverizing the arm is a great way to create an advantage. Basically forcing your opponent to fight one-handed. The sleeper is in trouble here. Oh, what a great counter. That'll break it up. Oh, right in there. Oh, the point of the elbow finds the mark. He's heading up top. Thinking big. Here we go. Diving hammer strike. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Counters that. And this might not have a pleasant ending. Planet face first. Telegraph that one and delivers a blow to the gut. He's starting to struggle here. Austin trying to kick some you-know-what right about now. Oh, here we go. Stone Cold stomping that mud hole and walking it dry. No respect being shown whatsoever with those stomps. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. Oh, it gets put into the barricade. Oh, I got Austin back. Setting it up. Boom! I 
isolating their opponent's arm. And oh! Oh, stop right to the hand. You can feel the resentment building with each stop there. Thrown back in under the ropes. Austin had that one scouted. And there was some force on that move. Big forearm. Oh, the physicality on display there. Unbelievable. Stone Cold Steve Austin. That is press and unleashing. Austin all but putting a lid on things with that one. He can practically taste the steam. Austin with Stone Cold. Will Stone Cold end this? He kicks out somehow. Just an incredible wherewithal to get the shoulder up. Yeah, you would think he'd be out. Austin with Stone Cold Stunner. Austin got all of it. in full celebration mode now. Austin 316 says he just won this match. The biggest attraction in WWE history. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Abruzzo, Italy. Weighing in at 265 pounds. The Worldwide Wrestling Heavyweight Champion. The first superstar, Bruno Sanchez. They truly broke the mold with this man, Bruno Sammartino. Yeah, Bruno set an all-new standard in sports entertainment. And every superstar has since tried to follow in his gigantic footsteps. And believe me, the WWE roster has plenty to fear. And his opponent, representing Indus Sheer from Uttar Pradesh, India, weighing in at 275 pounds, V. Mahan. Here comes the man with a million dollar arm. A knockout punch, but also lots of unchecked Number aggression. Four. Look at the rage in the eyes of Veer. I fear for the opposition tonight. Veer looking ready to punish the competition here tonight. Based on size alone, Veer is a pretty scary guy, but his mean streak makes him one of the most feared superstars in WWE. Like you said, Michael, punishing is the best way to describe what Veer does in the ring. A bear hug 
Bears. The bear hug cinched in. Got to find a way out and catch your breath. Look at this. No quit whatsoever. Raining down elbows and escaping the bear hug. Oh, just turn that around. Oh, an overhand chop. Tossed into the corner. Tremendous impact. The sheer force of that landing was probably enough to fracture a few bones. Bruno beats him to the punch. He steers clear of contact. And one more reversal. Talk about it evenly matched here. Oh, there's a response against Bruno. There's press and the piston-like right hands. There's press hammering away. You can see that each strike drained their opponent's energy. And hey, what's your best chance at taming the so-called lion of WWE? Fast feet and lady luck on your side. The one knock on Veers is inexperienced, which you can usually make up for with his power and intensity. But if you can outsmart him and find the right opportunities to strike, I'd say you have a very slight chance. He's one step ahead there. Speed using their body as a weapon. Boom! Did you hear the impact? Bruno wasn't showing any love or respect with that attack. Yeah, Beard just showed a ton of fire on that one. Oh my god! And it looks like Veer might be bleeding now. for a counter. Oh, atomic drop! Arm ringer applied into the top wrist lock. Full control now. Fighting back, however, punches. Waist lock applied and countered into an arm drag. The vendetta between these superstars has become so bitter that I'm almost afraid of what will happen here. Anything is possible when a rivalry gets this out of hand. And here's a cover. A kick out to stay alive. Able to squeeze that shoulder out so close. Down with a face buster. He is just reeling from that offense. And hanging tough, but beginning to show some wear and tear. Might want to think about picking up the pace a bit. Ran right through that clothesline. Wow. Line. Good God, man. Jeez Louise. The adrenaline is pumping, and the WWE Universe is on his side. He's going for it all. Blast off. into the pin. Kicks out at just one. Channeling his energy to stay in this matchup. He's heading to the floor, but he can't take his time. Oh, what a nasty knee lift. Oh, no. Now possibly setting up for a submission maneuver. And he very quickly counters. Beats him to the. A oh, bear hug squeezing the breath out of him. Well, this isn't going to win the fall, but it's going to do a lot of. Bear hug. Well placed down the ball. We'll get you out of it. That might be enough. Yes, it is. Now we're cutting it kind of close, don't you think? You could say that again. Time to get the lead up. Front kick to the body and check out this power. And the rope saving there. But will he be able to last much longer? Stop in the leg. Boot to the stomach gives them separation. Big back body drop. Oh, 
The Lion beginning his feast. Cervical clutch applied. The official asking him, and he chooses to let go of the hold. But just the amount of time he was in that submission could be very significant. Lights out. DDT connects. That's got to be it. Two. Stopping the refs counted two. A long two and a half in the waning moments of this match. Oh, what a clothesline. Forcefully delivered. And the Lion feasting on his opponent. Yeah, Veer is making this uncomfortable to watch. Oh, strong impact. Drops the hammer. Right on the lower back. Oh, my gosh. Oh, there's a response against Bruno. First. Bruno, top turnbuckle. Watch out. Splash. Cover. There's two. Guys, can you believe how great that match was? But hold on a second. They'll happen to the lights. Oh, oh my God, no. Look at the size of that. He's got a hold of him. All the way up. Oh, 